Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Anne and in this video, I'll share with you another product that works in many ways and it'll start right now. So this is the White Mountain Epsom Salt, okay? It says here it's good for relief of pain from minor sprains and bruises. This one is for two pounds, but the one that they have now in Amazon is already for three pounds, but still it's just for roughly $13, and it will last you for quite a long time. Now for the indications and warnings, you could find everything on this label. It varies depending on how you will use it. So I might put some on the description below, so just please check it out. But I'll focus more on my personal experience about this product. I'll talk to you on how I use it. And again, this is not a sponsored video. Everything that I will be talking about are solely based from my personal experience. So now, what is Epsom salt? I have a copy. Okay, so Epsom salt is made up of magnesium and sulfate, which can help improve health in numerous ways. So it's like if we lack magnesium, it contributes to hyperactivity, um, high blood pressure, heart problems, and other health issues. And sulfate, on the other hand, is essential in helping to flush toxins and helping form proteins in joints and brain tissue. Okay, now, when we combine magnesium sulfate or magnesium and sulfate together, and it is absorbed, like for example, when we are taking a bath, it's absorbed through our skin, it draws toxin from the body. Plus, it sedates the nervous system, reduces swelling if in case you are feeling some muscle pains, joint pains, and so on. It relaxes muscles. It'll act as a natural moisturizer at the same time. I'll talk more about that later. Exfoliator and much more. Okay, guys. So I use Epsom salt in seven ways. Seven ways seven <laughs> okay and i put them all together i have here my copy so i won't miss anything for number one i use it as a laxative yes you heard it right laxative laxative <laughs> okay so it's like i add one tablespoon in one glass of water so let me show you it's like this okay let me open it first it's really like salt it doesn't smell anything. I just mix it in a glass of water like that and it doesn't taste good. <laughs> I just wish though that it would really taste just like salt, salty, right? But it tastes really bitter. It's like you can't even tolerate it. So when I drink this one, I really just um try not to taste it <laughs> okay if possible so let me mm. that's really how it tastes you could just imagine okay but ideally <laughs> it's not supposed to be taken more than two times a day so if you really need to aid your bowel movement or if you're suffering from constipation, it's ideal, but only twice a day. So I read from an article that Jennifer Lawrence is adding a pinch or one teaspoon of salt in her glass of water. So it keeps her hydrated. In that sense, she'll be able to keep up with her regular exercise and regular diet, okay? So for number two, I also use it, of course, when taking a bath, as you know, after a long day, we deserve a warm bath. So alongside your warm bath, you could put probably um, 
two glasses of this in your bathtub and then you just soak in for 30 minutes then that's it afterwards you would really feel how soft your skin is and how relaxing it is for you okay and for number three it's also good as a facial cleanser it's like every night you just have to mix half teaspoon of this one with your regular um, cleansing cream foam wash or foam gel and then you just scrub it all over your face or massage it gently if you have a sensitive uh, skin just like me uh, that's what I, I do and then you just have to rinse it with cold water or if, if you prefer warm water it's also good and then um, number four it's also good as a skin exfoliator not just for your face but for your whole body it's like when uh, of course we have our daily routine or daily scrub routine right guys whenever we take a bath so instead of using for example your uh, regular scrub for one day you could replace it with this one just apply it on your damp skin and then uh, just rinse it off with water just like uh, what you do with your regular scrub I do it like for example twice or thrice a day or I mean thrice a week if I don't forget and for number five guys for hair treatment it's actually good in removing excess oil um, on our hair so it's like you could mix one tablespoon of it in your regular shampoo and then just mix 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 together and then you could um, apply it on your hair just massage a bit afterwards you may continue with your regular hair routine that's it very simple this one is also good for foot spa so aside from soothing your feet after a long day of work it will also remove odor and it will soften the skin okay just add one half cup of epsom salt in warm water and then just soak it in for like 20 to 30 minutes all right so those are already six ways and finally of course to ease muscle pains and sprained ankles like with me I usually run three times a week so after that though I warmed up and cooled down still sometimes I feel muscle pain and probably it's because of uh, too much work sometimes so this one is good to ease muscle pain you just um, add it with warm water and then massage it on the area that needs compress and then everything will be at ease so that's it for this Epsom salt guys I really hope that you find this a video useful and you have picked up some takeaways that you could use also so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and then I'll just see you again next time by the way new videos every Tuesday and Thursday thank you for watching bye